Welcome YouTube. It is case number three for Frog Detective. Uh, we just posted the past two, so go back and watch them. Um, I would be a sub to do that. I'm gonna say sub because it's on Twitch. Can't say the other word. But yeah, we're gonna start Frog Detective number three. It's a pretty good game. Pretty good. The other two have been really fun. So if you haven't seen the other two vods, you should go back and watch them. But um, yeah, here we go. Let's do it. Uh, hey, it's Mary. Remember me? I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. I mean, we just watched, we just did this, but I guess we'll listen to the recap for all the VOD watchers who aren't going to go watch the other ones. After the detective, that's you, solved the case of the invisible wizard, a mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was a supervisor, as usual, but the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know? Okay, so let's set the scene. I'm a good actress. It'll be exactly like what happened. Oh, wow. Yo, she is a good actress. That's crazy. I'm like, I feel like I'm really in the room. Oh my gosh, hey, it's me, the detective frog. Hey, gorgeous, I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. Oh my gosh, I know it's so hard to describe our professional relationship, but you're like a help of, sor of sorts. Yes, exactly, like a manager almost. Yeah, okay, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? <laughs> yes, uh, it's my job to solve mysteries. Haha, <laughs> obviously, I was being dramatic. Classic supervisor. Okay, so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Aw, oh, boo. I know, bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you there, and it'll take you on a little trip. Cute, okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love, later. And then, and then we go and pick up the magnifying glass. Sick, now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective, in case you weren't aware. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this game. It's so dumb. Okay, so the detective heads to the train station. It's also cool. Like, there's a new color scheme and stuff. But can you believe it? Someone literally takes the detective notebook. It's so messed up. Actual tears in my eyes. Seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen no notebook yet. So, you're actually up to date now. Please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case. <laughs> oh, it's silly. I love it. I I've been thinking about making a video game with some friends. Because... I, I'm a computer science major, I have some other friends who are like, you know, computer science majors, business majors, all that stuff. So we were like, what if we try? Um, and I think this would be the humor I'd go for, honestly. It's really funny. Your acting skills are great. Thank you. I'm so good at it. I know. Bye. What's here? You got anything to say? Hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? How may I help you? Why do you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone in the street. Why do you assume it's ringing for you? I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you'd be there. Now who's the weird one? Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. Someone may be listening. What? Who? I saw on the internet that it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. As you know, the terrain of Cowboy co County is vast and rough. Is that phone ring the exact same ring as in Gar Gardic phone? I actually have no idea. That'd be awesome. I'd love to see that. Yeah, hopefully we can make a game. That'd be fun. I ordered something special from Wizbay to help you get around. Oh, is it a horse? What? No. Why would you say that? It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. It would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you would even say that. Right. Sorry. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what'd you... <laughs> That's just the end. It was... Yeah, I got confused. My bad. Anyway, what'd you order? A scooter, of course. Sick. It should be next to you in the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster cop arrived early and will be waiting for you at the town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. I hope you have fun too. I will. Alright, see ya. Do you need art help? I actually don't know. We have, we've done like nothing on it. I don't even know if we're actually gonna do it. We'll see. My very own scooter. Got a scooter. The notebook is no longer in play. Hop on with Y. Alright. Yay! Oh, I can do some sick moves. Yeah. 
All right, let's get out of this stinking mess of a town. <laughs> okay, this is fun. You got anything to say? You don't tell me anything. Wow. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, I can't do a front flip. I can't do a back flip either. Super Hot presents. Wahoo! A game by Worm Club. Oh, that's why the worm was driving the train. With assistance from Vic Screen. I love all these cinematic shots. And soundtrack by Dan Golden. You have a rat on your lap? Super Hot 3, yeah, I know. Starring Lobster Cop. I like how Lobster Cop gets called out first. Susie Rabbit. Sherman and the Bandits. Oh boy. Frog Detective. Frog Detective gets called out after Lobster Cop. Plus a special guest. We're finally gonna learn what happened with the uh with the the guy who stole a notebook. That looks like the mole. Yeah, it seemed like the right outline. Mole guy! I'm glad that he came back into play at the end because I noticed him in the first episode and uh, I just didn't understand like what he was for. Project Detective 3, Corruption at Cowboy County, the final chapter. Created by Grayson Thomas, Grace Bar Bruxner. I hope we get to see her again in this last one. Rookie was not crazy and actually helped with the big mystery. Yeah, well, I, I guess. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet how I feel. Maybe she was crazy. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting distracted. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Lobster Cop, I'm here to help solve the mystery. Oh gosh, she looks scary. Right on time, detective. I've known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? Nope. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I'm sure, I'm sure can. Uh, <laughs> we've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the Sherlifish Count, E.T. Wow, I can talk so well. Oh my god, I can't say shit today. Ooh, this town was thriving, Detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was some- Hey, Marvel. Marvel. Timliness? Yeah, I know. There was something missing. A sheriff. Yeah, I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. Yeah. So anyway, I've lost where I was going with this. You said there was something missing. Right, there's something missing. A sheriff! The town had realized that for all these years, they were missing a vital key ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted his supervisor and he contacted me. And me! Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm gonna be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here. To facilitate the hiring for a management position? Detective, you read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. Do you really think I need your help? No. Me neither. Okay, that's a little bit mean, to be honest. Um, thanks for clipping that. Gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it does work. Yeah, yeah. Clip works, chip works, and at chip works as well. It just takes a second. It even takes a second in Ellie's chat. That's just how the bot works. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. The position has been filled. Oh? I need the perfect boy for the job. Presenting... The new sheriff of Cowboy County. Oh! <gasps> dun, dun, dun! Sheriff Mason Mole. Wow, congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No, no. Hmm? No, you cannot. Is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. Crime mystery. Please solve this. What's the mystery? All hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat, town hats. Can you elaborate? All the hats in the town have been stolen. Pl please solve the mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. Get to work, please. Well, you heard the sheriff. Okay, uh, is there really no additional information? No, but here's your notebook. I'm sorry? Here, notebook. Somebody mailed it to you. What? It's the mole! 
I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. Goodbye. What is this guy's... What is he doing? Haha, <laughs> what a legend. You know each other? Sure, but how much can you really know about someone, right? What? Don't worry about it. Now, detective, as I'm the lead investigator in this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm, I'll handle the motive and the suspects, you handle the cr crime scene and method. Okay, it's an easier task for a rookie like you. All you'll need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to a clue, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. A uh, meal? Yeah, detective, keep up. I'm a very hungry boy and will need sustenance to solve the mystery. Why does he keep calling everyone a little boy? It's so weird. <laughs> I knew I was crazy? Yes, Strook. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Got him. Um, okay. I need some sandwiches I was saying for us. I have some sandwiches I was saying for afternoon tea if you'd like them. No, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. If you need to be reminded of what I want, come and see me in my graveyard. Will do. Good luck, lobster cop. I don't need it. Good luck, detective. What if the plot twist is it's a different mole? Maybe. Uh, wait, why would he just give the notebook back when he stole it? I also said a few ups that the lobster sus, by the way, so. Yeah. You finally call me by my name? What do you mean? Didn't I say struck? Don't I always say struck? Dang, he's tall. There's no possible motive for lobster cop to do this. Rookie? Oh, I meant struck. Crime scene. Okay, so we need a map, tool, key, and meal. Hey, it's the lobster cop, number one best detective. I'm very jealous. So tall. All right, let's keep moving. He's suspicious to me. Oh, I can. Squish, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh crap! No, we can do this. We can do this. I know we can. I know I have it in me. Here we go. Yeah! There we go. Oh, it just takes us to the other side. I just ran over a snake, dang. You said rookie, I heard you? No, I said struck. This is just like when you made up that, um, that mole. Yeah, it's the same f feeling. Anything I can pick up? No, okay. What do you have to say to me? Sherman, wow, look at you, huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am. Not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Maybe it's time to solve a mystery, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart, huh? <laughs> what? Those are your good looks. It's just a little joke. Not about your looks, you look great. It was like, you could like, steal my heart because you're so dashing. Haha, <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You've stolen them. Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Do you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? El Riz? Nah, his Riz is crazy. His, the, the detective just doesn't know what he's missing. I looked in a mirror. Haha, <laughs> I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh, huh. anyway, um, well, honestly, <laughs> I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. I did not wake up today and expect to see a sloth flirting, flirting with a toad. With a frog? How did I read toad? It said frog. I need a break. <laughs> I need a break from reading, I think. I also need oxygen. <sighs> There's some oxygen for me. There should be... <laughs> should I make a channel reward point that's just, um... <laughs> That's just oxygen intake, and it reminds me to breathe. The fellow outlaw Rhonda Dynamite was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she didn't get the courage in time, because this new guy Mason Mole wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? For the VOD archive, Treble just forced me to not skip dialogue. <sighs> I just want to skip. Why would you do this to me? Now I gotta open my timer again. 
Set five minutes. There we go. Oh, don't get me wrong. He's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way he, we, we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Have you ever spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time. I understand if after today you hate me. He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcome as possible, but I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask some questions? Alright, about Sheriff. Why are you so suspicious of him? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. Sherman winks. Anyway, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I'm not sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgment, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you know? Nope. Figures. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? The mine. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow, I really like gold. I don't mean to sound sensitive, but I do want to ask. Is it a thing for slots to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a slot and also likes gold. And uh, loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before. But yes, I think slots do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. I like gold too. I like gold. I think gold's cool. I think diamond's better. Have you tried exploding with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that'd probably be better, yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for a, a shovel. I'll think about it. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Uh, no, we have no questions left. I like rose gold. I said other one. Fucking hell. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. A pickaxe to break into the mine. See, there was double you riz, German Sherman. You make me blush. So funny, so cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. You're a suspect. No, I think he's fine. Lobster cop's still sus though. Skirt, skirt. I'm gonna scoot her out of here so that Sherman knows how cool I am. Um, I don't think I have anything left to say to you, but we'll try. Sus, so, sus. So, is that the thing? Are you finished, huh? Do you find all the things I asked for? No. I'm still looking. Okay, just making sure there was anything else. Nothing else. Uh, I just want to see the outskirts of this place first before I go and see the main town. So, nothing here. I'm gonna look back here a little bit. Anything? Nope. I'm glad they gave me a scooter for this. Ooh, there's a well. Anyone down here? I can't get down there without a ladder. I'd fall and break my legs and arms and knees and head and nostrils and fingers. Okay, we need a ladder. We'll keep that in mind. My overactive imagination makes mountain out of molehills. I wonder if the mole has written anything in the notebook. Ooh. Boredom? No, I'm never bored, and I hate crime. To be needs to be number one. Always suspect yourself, but also believe in yourself. Being alive is confusing. Interesting. Did he have the cactus? Interesting. Nothing's changed. I don't know. Guess he didn't have anything. Someone remember we need a ladder. If I forget, we need a ladder because that wasn't written down in the in the little little notebook. Scooter, 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 scooter. I love the scooter. This thing is sick. I think this was the exit, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is where we came in from. So nothing around here. Which means we've seen all the outskirts. Now we just have to look through each building. Hello. We need a ladder. Thanks, Penguin. <laughs> I wonder if you can access any secret areas with the scooter. We tried. We tried. There was one little area we got to that we couldn't get through by walking. But there was nothing in there. We already checked. If you hear from this evil secret society, please leave me alone. I'm not interested in joining. What's the evil secret society? Nice try. I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh yeah? Where are your cred credentials? Uh, well, I'm a detective and a frog, and I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Just my face. Do you have identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance seems does seem to match what you're saying. The timer's nearly up. 
I know a Craig he's gay. Okay, thanks for the information. Stop. Timer is done. Okay, we're finally able to skip dialogue. Uh, I'm here. I'm someone that is regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. I'm a lone ranger. What types of secret societies? For starters, you got the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. Posties are another. They go around delivering mails. Not sure that's a secret society. That's more of a public service. Then why can't we open everybody's mail? Not so public if you ask me. Open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Bars League. I've heard of them. Yeah, despite being a secret society, they're well known. To be honest, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being a part of any societies, but that's only half true. Oh, the Ghost Spiders League is really exclusive. I've ne I'm kind of bummed they've never tried to recruit me. Um, to be inducted, you have need to have spotted a ghost and even seen any? Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a compelling disguise. I'll give you that. Do you know much about ghosts? I solved a mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. So, no. You could have saved us both time and just, and just said no. That is such an alley response. You could have just wa not wasted your time and just said no. You hardly had to read through any dialogue. Well, that's your L for using it then, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, can I ask you some questions? Ghost Spider League. How close are you to spotting a ghost? Um, how does it work then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, society just needs a credible ghost saying story or channel of proof of a ghost, like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. The saloon is a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong way and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They're so strict. If I get denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. What'd you send in the first two times? I faked the first two settings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast so I looked like a blur in the photograph. They're so clever that they figured me out right away. That's how I know they're the real deal. If you happen to stop by a saloon, could you take a look and see if you can tell which one of the photos has a ghost in it? Okay. Cool. Now, secret societies. Find the ghost from the first game, yeah. I don't suppose there's a secret size that, that is dedicated to stealing hats. Not that I'm aware of, but that's the thing. They run deep. They run everything. Everywhere you've ever been, anything you've ever done. Um, how do you know it's true? I'm part of several forms dedicated to uncovering the truth. Is it a secret form? What? Huh, like, is the form also a secret society? I never thought of that, but I'll have to look into it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can joke about something like this. Secret societies run everything. Okay, anyway. I have no evidence that it's not true other than the lack of evidence of it being true. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Jesus. This guy's annoying, but we'll find him a stupid photo. Maybe he'll give us something in return. We have motive. Wine membership to that secret house style stealing society. Needs a definitive proof of ghost. <laughs> Either a conspiracy theorist or knows way more about the world than me. Okay. Hey guys. Which one of you is uh Grace? <laughs> Which one of you is Thomas? Alright. Let's uh is there anything else here that I can pick up? I don't think so. Let's get moving. I wanna go to a saloon at some point. Is this an outhouse? It might be. Yeah, probably. Okay, um well you're standing here. Let's talk to you. Nice outfit. Ban an in-game action, skipping dialogue, god damn it. I hate it. Oh crap. <laughs> I I stole the curtain with me. Oh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I hate reading. I'm eating a jelly bean to make myself feel better. Look at this. It's half done. I've had so many jelly beans in the last couple of weeks. Trouble chose violence? Yeah. Damn it. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. Can you do me a favor? Um, it depends on the favor. What? I can't just agree to doing a favor. I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? I, you're the best. Thanks. I need you to help me break into this bank. What? I will not. What? Dude, you already agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. If you said you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. I didn't agree to the favor. I was not changing the story. Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone.
Excuse me, Susie Rabbit? Hello? What? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the Flake. Why? Because you always flake on your promises. I'm gonna have to break in on my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking in anyway? A bit nosy if you're someone who doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job! Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can get into my vault. Oh, so you only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting them. Oh, so now you want to help. Typical. I just mean breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I didn't set a timer. Only 1.1k now, so unless I get a bunch more points, I cannot do it again. Thank God. Uh, I'm gonna set the timer for five minutes still, even though I wasted a couple minutes actually doing the stupid challenge. I just mean breaking in sounds dangerous. You can get hurt. I heard all these banks are booby trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep things val keep values safe. If people don't break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I'm starting to get it. Oh, that's so annoying. I have a piece of evidence that's vital to the missing hats case. Wait, what? I could really use that. Ah, so you'll help me. Mmm, I really shouldn't. What kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning, right after the hats were stolen. It had big letters on the top that said, Crime map, eat after reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. Maybe there's another way to get into your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? Oh, boy. Okay. Um. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. Okay. My ID's in the bank wall vault? Okay. There's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Okay. Alright, interesting. Theoretically, if I were to help- Yes, thank you, Detective. I'll wait right here. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot! I'm- <laughs> I'm an idiot! I, I don't know why I just started skipping dialogue. I, okay, I'll reset the timer. <laughs> I don't know why- I completely forgot that you may go off. Okay. <laughs> I reset the timer. About that vital piece of evidence, the map. It's just- there was- okay, it's so annoying to me when there's no- there's no jokes, it's just- I mean, there's no like big jokes, it's just like mainly storyline, and I'm just like, I don't need to read all this to get to the end result of yes, we are getting fake ID. Okay, anyway. About that vital piece of evidence, the map. What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Oh, that's helpful. Eh, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be looking forever with some guide to tell you where, where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. Listen, if you can help me get into my vault, it's all yours. Sound, that sound like a good deal? I'll do my best. Mind if I ask you some questions? I don't think I have any left. Okay. <sighs> I hate reading everything. Sussy. Yo, her name is Sussy. Maybe she misplaced the vaults in the vault. <laughs> Maybe she misplaced that. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Maybe she misplaced the hats in the vault. I don't know. That's a very funny motive. Ethical criminal. Needs fake ID. Yikes. Alright. I don't think she's. I think she's named Sussy to throw us off the trail, you know? Oh. Oh, right. You're. What are you? Ooh, these could come in handy. Huh, get it? Handy gloves. Excuse me. Yes, Sheriff? Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime. Oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Cool. This guy's a weird guy. I don't get what his point is. What's his, what is what is he up to? Did you just want to learn how to be a detective, maybe? You look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Talk to me now. What do you want? Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being a sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm, strange. You must have a familiar face. No. Huh, you're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So how'd you meet Lobster Cop? School. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to suggest you as the new sheriff. Yes. It's pretty nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you? Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became sheriff, did you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? Helped with what? Not important. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. Huh, <laughs> there I go being nosy again. He is strange, yeah. Goodbye. Oh, okay, see ya. Yeah, he's a f weird freak. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. Needs to be left alone, it seems. Notes. Fellow, a few words. Previous job helped out. Okay. Alright. Well, we stole your gloves. Thanks for the gloves. Also, the way you read them is great. Thank you. Anything else? Oh. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? No. You cannot buy these carrots. Okay. You know what? That's a valid response, sir. Let's have a conversation. Good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm Detective. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. I don't need anything. Oh. Uh... Please feel free to browse our expensive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. No, thank you. We have a wide, wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that isn't in stock? We process special orders at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. As special words are... Orders have an average two-day turnaround. That's a great turnaround. It's one of our many great policies, such as Wendy the Wallaby. Oh, there's the alliteration. I, I wasn't sure what animal this was. We're proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? We can guarantee that you will either be satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. What happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls within our guarantee. So I can get a refund? The satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. If you're feeling towards the product doesn't fall within that range, you're entitled to a refund. Refund. That clears it up. Thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have ca cases in stock at this time. The mystery, I mean, of the stolen hats. Still is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. It's not permitted anywhere, really. To be clear, I'm not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I'm here on... on blah, I'm here on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. There's the timer. Finally. Wallabies look like kangaroos, so probably not. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't know. Uh, right. It would have to be a lot easier if you said that in the first place. I feel like I spent so much time explaining the policies and values. Um, maybe in the future just tell people what you're here for. <laughs> See, I don't want to read all this. I'm glad to hear this. It hasn't been easy taking over. You're free from the, for the rest of the stream now. Here, have a victory dab. Oh. Oh. Victory dab. Skirt. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Um, You seem like an old hand at it. Huh, that's great. I'm not at all. I've only been running the shop for seven months. Cool. Can I ask some questions? New job. So you just started running the shop? I wish you could say I'm nailing it, but it honestly doesn't feel like it most of the time. That's no good. It's been with the family for generations. I thought my hands would be the best it's ever been, but it's just kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. Um, what can I give you? Do you see those portraits on the walls? They're lovely. Every shop has had a beautiful portrait created of them. Except for me. Mine's just a silly photo. It's a nice photo. Yeah, sure, but it's not the same. I haven't got the same slight. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? Besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. Ha, I wish. I'm not much of a painter. Well, if you find someone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. Huh, okay. Kind of weird. What's weird? Just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who can paint you a portrait? I don't think that's weird. Okay, sorry. Alright, if Penguin follows through, it's not my fault. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm blaming it on trouble. I'm blaming it on trouble if Penguin makes me not skip again. <laughs> no! That is a pretty good motive. Steal the hats and sell them back. But people would know if they're getting sold back. I'm willing to live with that. Interesting. I think you're the. I think you're the culprit. I think you're the. You're the bad guy. Ooh, saloon. Anything in the back here? No. We gotta go to the saloon and then we gotta go check out those bandits over there. Hello. 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 Pistol. Well, if it ain't the frog of the hour. Maybe the frog of one and a half hours if we're being generous. 45 minutes if you're speedy. Ha, <laughs> well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Oh, you must be Pistol. That's me. Fine stories in all of County, Cowboy County and potentially the world. Yes, you mentioned that many times in your emails. 
Autocorrect, stop correcting, live to love. They're both words. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, um... It's actually two million money? Jesus, to pay. It's no matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and you'll, you'll be able to afford my work one day. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? It's, uh, well... You see, it's clearly a... Who am I kidding, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. I clicked on a banner on cyberspace and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who is buff. You were right to click it. When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. It made a loud cackling noise and the screen just said, You just got a curse on you from this website. Ever since then, I've lost my artistic ta talents. That's terrible. When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. That witch was really scary and I'm normally very brave. Did, what, did the website have any specifics about the curse? No. Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one, and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. Can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. Okay. Let's start with the curse, first of all. My dog dug a hole in the yard to stick his face in. <laughs> oh, jeez. I love dogs. Tell me more about the curse. I don't know what more there is to say. I want to see a video of a buff worm and I was tricked. Fooled. Cyberspeed can be a really troubling place. Uh, I clicked on a banner that said I was a thousandth visitor and I won a hundred thousand money. What? Really? Yeah. You have the money? They just asked for my banking information and I give it to them. You did what? Relax, how else was I supposed to get my prize money? That seems really dangerous. You're just jealous because I won a hundred thousand money. It's already there in my bank account. Really? You checked? Yes. I bought this new outfit with my winnings. Wow, I'm so sorry for doubting you. It's fine. I guess I'll always click on those banners from now on. Sounds like a plan. Wow. <laughs> it's funny. Alright, let's show him the picture. You mentioned being a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours and one might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. Don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? I'd love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me. I have no interest in drawing you. That's understandable. Hmm. If you can find me a photograph of something compelling to draw, I'd be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. Your head is a weird shape. <laughs> Alright, let's give him the photograph now. I found a photograph. Okay, see? Here you go. Wow, this is beautiful. This is Wendy from the store. Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. I mean, I guess. It seems like it was probably a prank. Oh, I think you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I'd say. Right, I might be mistaken. <laughs> it's okay, we all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. <laughs> this guy's gaslighting me. Grace, it's your cue? Yeah, I was waiting for Grace to show up to be like, guys, don't click banners on websites. So will this work as your new muse? Absolutely, stay right there. I'm gonna paint it immediately. Good sound design. Good painting, that was quick. And voila, wow, it's beautiful. Thank you, I'm proud of it. What are you gonna do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm up for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. Really? Yeah. Or throw it. I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Dude, I wish I was that fast. Same. Gaslighting from a guy called Pistol is fitting. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry. I just had to send a text real quick. All right. We got a portrait. Let's go. That was very quick. And we got this guy's muse done. Easy. Maybe hats are hard to paint. And some internet safety lessons. He really does need those. Always give your banking information to anyone who asks for it. This is not true legal advice. Please don't do this. I will talk to you in just a sec. I just want to look around a little bit. Imagine drawing in God's speed. You can make so much money off of commissions. Yeah. I wish I could draw at all, to be honest. I want to get better at it. But there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna get better at, like piano. I also wanna learn, um, I want to learn to speak Spanish. There's so many skills I wanna be able to get. Now, let's talk to you first. Dusty. I sit here and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. 
Spoken like a true adhd -er. Yeah, I know. It's so annoying. I wish I could learn all this stuff. Answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge the solar-powered bobblehead? And more, I'm certain of it. We spent so much time focused on how to find the missing hats, and no time considering why we had them in the first place. I would assume for sun protection. Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective, and I am just a lonely poet trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you. And you? You should think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine right from wrong? Huh. Uh. If you don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm Dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever. I'm no good at this. We have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out, right? I'm sure it sounds great. Hey, Bishop, what's good? <laughs> Rat the Ace hitting a second bot right after. That's crazy. It doesn't. I'm, sh I'm ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me. I won't judge. Hmm, okay. Uh -huh. A cowboy's life is so much fun sitting around on your bum. Ride a scooter, sing a tune, say a yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright, their smiles shine, brighter when waving at this lonely rider. I give a nod and smile back too, yet I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me, I want to ride and be carefree. He's a bard? Yeah, he's a bard. Instead I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. Why do you have a bot when you have Bishop? Because Bishop is, he's got work to do, you know? I can't, I don't pay him, so. I also don't pay the bot. That's my poem. It's beautiful. I would say that's a perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I, I think I want to write a new one. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Go ahead. This doesn't have to do with the case at all. Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far. And maybe you can help me finish it? Sure. Um, I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal, from his sack. <laughs> from his sack. Nice. I see. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, smart and sure, but then headed off to get some more. He finished quickly, smart and sure, and then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to a shock. Stood a newly built office block. Um, okay, sure. He waddled over, concerned, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. Ooh, plot twist, okay. He waddled over, concentrated. Okay, the cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went. Back to bed. <laughs> Thank you, Stricky. It's a really hard job to bot, but you know what's not hard? Subbing to Ari's VOD channel. <laughs> That's awesome. Yo, yo, the bot's getting like becoming more of an AI nowadays. Let's go. Oh, you wanted to say goblin? Sorry, I wasn't. <laughs> I said it too fast. Haha, <laughs> it's perfect. The perfect poem. I can't wait to recite it in front of a crowd. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. And we take them. All right, we got a writing set. You know what else is incredible? Ari's TikTok. I think that's also on the timer. Every once in a while it should pop. I believe. Motive. Want to absorb cowboy powers through cowboy ha hat is osmosis. <laughs> Just someone to talk to, I guess. Good friend. I like that guy. It seems as though that time was now. <laughs> Lemo, I can't promote Ari. Oh yeah, links probably get deleted, right? 
No cheeky water, yeah. Bishop's a VIP, so it's easier. Can someone try to shell? Actually, someone did. Yeah, Ellie got shell sniped perfectly fine yesterday. I don't know why Roth couldn't get shell sniped by cheeky. I've been trying to think about it, but it's not because of VIP. I think it just glitched. I think there's just a little glitch. Afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, hear about the hats? I must look like a heck of a suspect. What's that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy and cooked them up in my stew. Haha. <laughs> Did you steal the hats and cook them up in your stew? You bet! Oh. Everyone come get your hats too. Haha. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Bantering Bonnie over here. That's a nice nickname. <laughs> I'm literally joking. Haha. <laughs> they just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh. <laughs> now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah, I get it now. Uh, anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head's a weird shape. Ah. Haha, <laughs> I'm literally joking. My head's completely normal. Oh. Ah. Uh, mine too. I just don't like the way hats look like with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing, lol. Okay, lol. Hey, detective. Yeah? I know a lot about Cowboy Connie. You, I know it all. Why are we yelling? It's a joke, lol. Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, I hate her. This is pissing me off. <laughs> I can afford to shell snipe anymore. I wanted all my points on banning, skipping dialogue, and driving Ari insane. <sighs> There's a burst of energy again. Bonnie's more bad at jokes than me. I don't know about that. That's an exaggeration. She's a keen historian. Despite my nature, I take the role seriously. The graveyard is gravely haunted. Sorry? It's gravely haunted graveyard. Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories on Fogas. You can check them out if you want. I sure will. Thanks. I just got the gravely thing. Haha. <laughs> okay. Uh, ghost photos. Let's find some ghost photos. Legend has it they're haunted. I don't know if I believe it. Okay. I kind of want to steal one. You don't actually make hats, too, do you? Of course not. Gross. I'm making stew, though. It's the only thing I can think of to get the regular customers back. They're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Uh, artists. Wow. Worse. Worse than bandits. It just changes the vibes. They hang around all day, creating things and find themselves. I miss the root and toot and cowboy boot in times we used to have. You're not a fan of heart art? <laughs> yeah, dude, she's messed up. We do scare everyone away, yeah. I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure, you just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right. Get them to start taking themselves so seriously. So your solution is stew? Hat stew. I'm joking. Sorry, but I'm still learning about jokes. This is a normal stew, but I'm famous for it around here. Lure them with the stew, keep them for the party. Could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Okay. I'll go do that. Oh, and around these parts, they're really... There's really delicious edible cactus flowers. Could you click four for me? Okay. The Rook made me skip dialogue. Come on, Rook. <sighs> oh, I started the timer. I'm gonna try to avoid to talk as much as possible. We're gonna go find the edible flowers. Ha! <laughs> Get wrecked, Rook. I was gonna do it anyway, but now, now, now it even hurts your points. Uh, that's not cheating. I can do whatever I want in this game. It just means that if I do have dialogue, I have to not skip it. But which one of these looks most like a ghost? Uh, this one. Is this a ghost? Ha! I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came and changed all the colors in Cowboy County. It was really weird and messy. Fun though. And they're still alive? I sure hope so. Thanks. Bishop, thank you for the sub! I paid to sub to Ari, but you know who doesn't cost- What doesn't cost money? Following Ari on Twitter. <laughs> Bishop, thank you so much. I appreciate it, bro. It's <laughs> funny. Oh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Ah, why? Legend had it. This rabbit was a real mean guy. He'd put banana peels out for people to trip on, give people wedgies, you name it. Wow, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah, this guy was a sheriff about 80 years ago. A great sheriff. Ever loved by all. So not haunted? Nope. Sorry. All good. Which one would be haunted? Um, I 
feel like... Uh, let's just go in order. From left to right. This one's super spooky. Surely it has to be as a ghost, ghost photo. That's old Snappy Fresh. He was one of the original gold miners here in town uh, about 100 years ago. Wow. It's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh? Old Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 years old. How do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Oh, thanks. Is this the guy that we saw on the beach? Dang. Is this a ghost? Who, Mark? Ha ha ha. Nah, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? That didn't come out right, lol. That's my ex-husband. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Why'd you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. Ha ha ha, I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think that photo is over 50 years old. Take my word for it, though. That's not a haunted photo. It's a nice energy. Okay. Was it really the last one? This one's standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's mourning. Did you ever think about that? Then why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all those gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. The smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. So none were haunted? Oh, okay. <laughs> what the heck? She's not funny, she's just a liar now? Yeah, that's what she's been from the start. This is so weird. Oh, is one about to appear? Oi! What the fuck? <laughs> Why they hit us with the Oi! You didn't change the game to Frog Detective 3? You're so right. I totally forgot. I knew I was forgetting something. Fixed it. Thank you. You know something else I want to do real quick while we're paused? <laughs> so my bot has certain commands that are only for mods. And I'm going to give Bishop the chance to use them. I'm going to give VIPs the chance to use them. Because... <laughs> Just because. Just because why not? Um, so one of them is prime. I'm going to give Bishop the chance to use that. So you can do exclamation point prime Bishop. Uh, hang on in a second. Oh, I can't. You can't give it to VIPs. Never mind. I guess I can't. Otherwise, I'd have to give it to everyone and I don't really want to do that. Oh, well, 100% you know they wanted to do a proper jump scare in that scene. It was, it was kind of jump scary. It got me a little bit. It scared me just a wee bit. All right, well, this one's the haunted one. Wait, was this one here before? I don't remember. It has such a strange energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome yet cold, like he's seen too much. A man who's lived a thousand lives. There's a kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Bonnie? Yes, detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might well be right. May I take it? Please do, I'd be glad to be rid of it. All right. Bro looks like a nerd. <laughs> so true. Okay, there is the end of the timer. Okay, we officially can skip dialogue, but first, let me take a selfie. Let's find these edible cactus flowers. We gotta figure out exactly what they look like. Is it this thing? Oh yeah, yeah, it's just the flower on top. Good thing I have these gloves. Okay, cool. We found the gloves earlier and they let us do it now. Oh, it's gonna do this every time. Okay. I find three more. Let's just keep going. I don't think it's any of these, right? I think it needs to be like a big flower. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep looking around. Is there one here? Nope. It sucks that we did all this searching around earlier, not realizing that we need to look for stuff. It's like you got a razor scooter? Yeah. Yeah. Gotta keep take care of the ankles. If we knew earlier... Wait, is that a flower? No, okay. If we knew earlier that we needed to look for this later, I wouldn't have, like, done all that searching. But oh well. It's okay. That's another one. It's halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. 
jump over here. This is where like the secret scooter stuff was. Oh, there is a cactus flower here. Three of them. Just need one more. I was pretty sure there must be something in this little hidden pocket here. But I just wasn't sure what. And now for the last flower, which is right there. Easy. Easy peasy. Look at that. Didn't even take any time. Okay. Now we want to... First of all, let's trade out the carrot money real quick. And now we can skip uh, dialogue, so that's good. Let's grab this carrot real quick. Can I please buy? Do you have money? Yep. No need to brag. Take as many as you need. Okay. Got some carrots. All right. Now we need to run over here. Give the stew. Let's give the carrots first of all. Hey, I managed to procure some carrots. You're the best. How do you even manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I'll add them to a stew. Um, and then let's give the cactus flowers. Do you have money? Now I was gonna steal them. What do you think? <laughs> I've just been flower picking. Great. Here's what I've collected so far. I never, I never nearly picked myself actually because I had gloves already. First and second hand, good. Nice. What's kind of sense for being proud of you? <laughs> okay, now we can... I reckon I can give this to Lops. I forgot we need to get him a meal. Okay, what did we need? We need a key, a map, a meal, and... Something else. I don't fully remember. If anyone remembers in chat, let me know. Oh, you know what? We can see right here. Uh, a key, a map, a tool, and a, and a meal. Okay. Alright. Let's go give our friend the crime photos. Or whatever. Not the crime photos, the ghost photo. Can I ask you some questions? Give item, ghost pick. Here we go. So you can look at all the photos in the saloon. I think this one's definitely a ghost. Really? How do you know? Bunny helped me out by telling the stories of all the other photos. The rest of them seem pretty normal, but this one is something else. I can just tell it's so suspicious and spooky. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for them to let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? What do you have? A pickaxe. Why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? That's it? That's it to you? What's the what's it to you? Can I can I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not, but usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay, well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing, sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that'll haunt me for the rest of my days. That seems really intense, it's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Alright! That is gonna help us for the outlaw that we met. The one who is completely in love with us. I love- this game is perfect for like a completionist like me. Like I get to just fulfill everything that I need to do, it's so nice. Okay, um... Oh, this is cool. I can use this to orient myself, I get lost in this needlessly large town. It's not that big of a town, to be honest. Oh, this is cool. I love the notebook thing. I love how we personalize the notebook and now it's like this thing that like... We can fully, you know, make our own. Like, we can just fully clean up. And then we just have a full notebook of our whole adventure. It's just, it's, I don't know, something about games that do this. Where you have, like, a predetermined amount of stuff that you need to get. And you just go through the game and get everything. And then you have this full book of, like, everything perfectly in order, how you need it. It's just, it's so nice. Ronda Dynamite. They came, they come from far and wide to face off with a powerful Ronda Dynamite. That's me. Ready your weapon. It's time for us to do battle. I don't have a weapon. I'm not interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You can't just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You own the scooter barn? No, but I loiter here every day. Everyone knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock? I thought a lily pad would be more suitable. Ha! 
I live at 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. Do you just give me your full address? Yeah, you literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? How else are you going to know where I live? You have a great point. <laughs> yes, she showed up. I knew it. I was so excited to see Grace. Let's go. The detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers. Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. Then tell people where you live. Because how else are they going to know where you live in that you how else are they gonna know you live in a mansion okay even then just show them a photo don't give them your address thanks for playing i'll leave you to it we got our grace appearance let's go anyway i'm not sure why you're trying to fight me would you like me to leave Nah, i'm enjoying having some company so what do you do hmm what do you do as a job oh i'm the detective i'm here to solve the case of the missing hats just in time when you find the culprit bring them here i'll beat them up what no give them a taste of these fists Kick him in the nose, tie their shoelaces together and trip him up, tell him they're ugly. Please, no. I'm an outlaw, detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. That's the opposite of an outlaw. Hmm. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, it's Phil just before I got here. Yeah, I know, by some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure the lobster cop must, wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must be very qualified. I love the address, yeah. Rondo about that smoke? Yeah, for real. Doesn't mean he's not rando. Okay, okay, keep going. Oh yeah, we could try to make you co-sheriff. Oh my god, cheeky. <laughs> do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Uh, about the sheriff, okay. How do you intend to become the sheriff? By force. I'll beat up Mason Mole. Yeah, no, it's fine. Please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? Uh, less fun. I don't really have the writing supplies. Okay, we can give her that. Um, let's talk about your job first. What kind of work do you do? Well, detective, I'd love to tell you, but I need to know I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you hear about me telling on you, I won't tell. The only concern, my only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. I'm a master of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. We need a fake ID. My <laughs> number one best detective. No reason, just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> Guys. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Alright, let's give the item. Okay. And then we can get the fake ID, which will be nice. There we go. I'm not interested in anyone else's business. Great. Cool. Thank you. We're about to break into a bank. My address is 420 and then my Discord link. Hell yeah. I assume it's my Discord link. Or he's just advertising some other link. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, all done. Anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. It is sick. <laughs> I can't remember my Discord link from site. All right. Let's go give the pickaxe. Let's go get the pickaxe. Well, that'll give us a shovel. Don't know what we need a shovel for, but we'll get one. Okay. She knows my full address now. Yeah. I live in Ari's Discord, but I'm always in my room. Don't bother me. <laughs> you mentioned you want a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade for the shovel. I'd love that. Thanks. I could also trade for a nice dinner, just you and I. <laughs> I'll take the shovel for now. Offer's open. Maybe after I've solved the case. Okay. Yeah, we have a chance. Maybe we'll actually get a little relationship going before this game ends. All right, we got a shovel. Hey. Oh, hello. Yeah. I hope he didn't do it. Oh, that's cute. Now we can go to... Um, let's go get the fake ID thing done. Real quick. Uh, what items do we have left? We have stew. We have the ID. We have a 
portrait. We need to give the portrait. Okay, we gotta do that next. Give item, fake ID. All right. I was making a Breaking Bad joke. I gotta watch that. I didn't understand the joke. Okay, so before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable, but I know how important it is for me to solve this case and press lock to cop. So, here's your fake ID. Yes! This rules, it looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. It worked! Thanks, detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. No, that's okay. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye! The detective helped me break into a bank. No, no! They should call you the burglar. I do not want to be called that. Fine, fine. Here, I got the map out for you. Brain Bad is great, I'd recommend it. Yeah, I've I heard my roommate watching it when I was still living on campus. It seems good. I got my real idea out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. Glad to hear it. Thanks for the map, I think it'll be a great help. <laughs> Crime map, sick. And that is done. Now we go, who needed the port? Wasn't it? Yeah, it was her. I forgot we came in here. We never actually gave the portrait. Came for the carrots. Let's give this. So you're not gonna believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Pistol the painter so I put photo in that you were the perfect muse. Can I see the painting? Sure. Wow, it's great. He's so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He's just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. I'm sorry, what? It's a whole thing, don't worry about it. The painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Well, good, thanks for getting this portrait for me, detective. Hmm, take this ladder. Oh, a whole ladder? That seems quite big. All right, I got a ladder. Now we can go back to the well. I remembered, I remembered, guys. <sighs> now we go to the ladder and do the, do the well thing. I assume we're gonna need the shovel down there, maybe. Isn't it down here? Yeah, it is. Alright. Alright, we climbed down. Let's see what's down here. Ooh, a key. <laughs> what the heck? People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. Well, okay, so Lobster was saying that there was a key for something. And I never really thought much of it. I was just like, okay, sure, we need a key. But... <laughs> Wait, what's the shovel for? Oh, it's the tool. <gasps> oh! We have everything we need. Alright, let's go talk to... Uh... Oh, oops. Let's go talk to Lobster Cop. <laughs> Not only is it perfect for climbing down, it's also good for climbing up. Lucky me! That's funny. I love that. It's a good, good dialogue. This is why you know this game's kind of made with love, because there's so much silly things, but it still looks pretty good. Like, I've never- uh, there are games that look so bad I just don't want to play them, but this has been like- this looks great, you know? It's fun. So, are you finished? Huh? Do you find all the things I asked for? I think so. Ah, great initiative. Let's take a look. Map. That looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. A tool. Uh, a shovel. I think you could be right. A key that'll lead us to a clue. So it looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? And a meal. Ah, oh, thank you very much. This too is clearly for me. Would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, lobster cop. You go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. I just have some quick business to attend to. I'll take that mean meal now, thanks. It's all yours. Enjoy. Okay. Cool. Now we can get into the graveyard with the key. I don't trust Velocity Cop. I kind of don't either. Here goes nothing. But he was nice to me in Chapter 2, so maybe he's a good guy. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Okay, so we got in. We have to dig- oh yeah, okay. Let's just look around a little bit, but I think we just have to dig where it told us to, which was like behind this building, I think. We can't get in here, right? Yeah. I think we have to dig back here. According to map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive. It doesn't make any sense. Oh well, I'll just dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. I'm about to get locked in or something, I think. Oh boy. I'm scared. 
Great, I found the hats. I'm sure everyone will be as so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. It sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, shovels out of the way. And we got the lost hats. Key should also... Actually, maybe not. I mean, you don't lose a key when you... <laughs> oh, boy. They're all standing at the stage. The hats were buried. You know what creature buries things? A mole! Here comes the detective now! Just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is... Poem. Please read a poem. Hello, I'd like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I'm nervous. Please do not laugh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. Oh, sure. I say sure. <laughs> but just ahead, to his shock, stood a newly built office block. He waddled over, con concentrated, fa concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. Oh, it, I forgot I have the latest command. It shows you my latest YouTube video. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. It really says... Jesus, that was loud. That was, I'm so sorry, guys. That was probably so loud for you. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business, crime solved. <laughs> Again, so loud. I, guys, I'm going to turn this down for you. I'm so sorry. I'm pleased to announce I've recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. Oh, now it's quiet again? Damn. I'm pleased to announce I found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. I worked hard to come to this con conclusion, so I trust I'll have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of Sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the, the detective arrived. That's me! Quiet, please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Wait. It is with great size to have to tell you this. The culprit, the ha hat-stealing monster, is none other than the second best investigator, Frog Detective! <laughs> Wait, what? I've been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties Detective to the crime. You know why the audio is so loud? It's because effects is so loud. There we go, now they're even. Now it should be fine. Oh my gosh, what evidence? This! <gasps> they took a picture of me! No, this is a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I found their location. Then why do you look so mischievous? I don't. Someone has drawn eyebrows on me. I don't even have eyebrows. You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What? You've come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mole. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody else would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Hmm. That's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? That's less of an idea, more of an ominous concept. I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bad room for punishment of crime. No! An excellent, if shocking, idea, Sheriff Mason Mole. We will construct the bad room at once. I already made it. It's in my office. Oh, well, in that case, Detective. I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. So prison. So it's prison. He's invented prison. It's a good thing that jail isn't real. Neither's crime. Now we have to break out. They figured out your crimes. I didn't do any crimes. I'm no criminal. They let me keep my magnifying glass, which was nice. They know what you did? I didn't kill Sonic, Cheeky. I didn't. Just wanna go home to slippery 
Is that the end? No way that's the end. No, they do after credit sequences constantly. There's no way that's the end. Maybe we'll finally be able to use the magnifying glass to let us out, you know? Literally a Marvel movie? Yeah, honestly. Because we haven't used the ma magnifying glass at all yet. Maybe they'll like be like, okay, you can burn a hole in something using it or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe it's just end. Yes, yeah, starring Lobster Cop. Yeah, dude, they hate me. Better than anything in Phase 4. I agree with that. Phase 4 has not been good. Was Moon Knight Phase 4 or Phase 3? That's the only one that I liked. Yeah, they're not even putting real names for like... Oh wait, okay. Maybe they will. Special apologies. Frog Detective fans, Optimus, Cowboy County residents, Sherman, Kylie Minogue, I feel like she'd be upset. <laughs> and friends and family. Who is that? We don't have anyone else to credit and there's still time left on the song. The following credits are from Degrassi, The Next Generation, Season 6, Episode 11. <laughs> Yo, they're so funny. What the hell? <laughs> Took my time in learning how to be the best. So Some of it's good, I disagree. I didn't like Space 4 at all so far. This is so funny, dude. I love this. I can't even remember Phase 4. Johnny did such a good job as Scott. Pater Patterson, Paterson. Pretty marveled out, yeah, same. I haven't watched Marvel since Mom. And uh, eventually I will, because I want to see Guardians of the Galaxy 3. But then I'll have to watch all the other stuff. I also want to see Black Panther 2, because it's got all the ocean stuff, and that seems fun. Shang-Chi and Spider-Man Spider No Way Home are Phase 4. Oh, okay. Yeah, those were good. That's fair. And I think Moon Knight is Phase 4, so that was pretty good too. So maybe, yeah, Phase 4 did have some bangers. No Way Home was... Eh. Like, I get why people liked it, but it was more nostalgia than anything. Did they leave me a computer? In the bad room? Yeah, No Way Home was more of just like a thing for the people who knew all the old Spider-Man movies. I don't think it really affected me the way it affected people. Frogdetective.net slash blog.html to my loyal frog blog readers. Yes, do I press a button? Oh, I do. It's hour number one of my time in the bathroom. I know that I'm innocent, unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my flag blog anymore because of my alleged crimes, but if you're reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and, and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Moles framed me, but my hope is that it'll all it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I'm involved in. It really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I'm grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to computers so and can continue to write my blog posts. Though I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading Frog Detective X. It's a real site? Did you actually check? Is it actually a real site? Oh my gosh. Put it in REFO in my uh, server if you want. Mystery monkey, oh my gosh. Put it in RUFO, that's funny. So that people who are at stream can see the uh, link. This is terrible, I can't believe this. What's going on? I'm reading the latest vlog blog blog post. I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery of in Cow Cowboy County. 
I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real? Let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work? I can't possibly con concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? I'll have to solve the mystery myself. That's crazy. We're not done yet, boys. You may have thought it was over, but... Not even close. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god, he can wear a hat! Oh, this guy looks sick. Let's go. Magical girl transformation. Let's go. <laughs> Woo, let's go. Love it. Look after the lab, Mo. I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective's innocence. Wow, Mystery Monkey is so cool. And this is why you make friends, guys. They'll big break you out of prison when you're framed for a crime. Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mr. Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course, how could I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise, I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. If I ever get falsely accused of a crime, will you break me out? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Depends how many more points you have. Uh, and how many times you use, uh, can't skip dialogue. <laughs> Magical girl transformations are one of the best things to come from anime, yeah. Is, ah, is it a lobster cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguana? The Incredible Sandy Mot? Mot! Triple, you showed up! No, none of those. Uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course. Our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my... Top two investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can we be sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there is a clear motive here. I know, I know, but it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh no! What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole? That name sounds familiar. Incredible storytelling based on stories about the boring life of high schoolers. Oh, uh, uh, I, uh, okay. All right, Bishop. All right, bud. Um, all right. <laughs> I've seen him around before, just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo in the frog blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, Mystery Monkey. I know it's a big ass, but do you mind if I snoop around in Frog Detective's office office to look for clues? Be my guest. <laughs> Freaking bishop, bro. Alright, I'm officially a monkey. I'm a monkey. I shouldn't snoop in Lobster Cop's office unless I really have to, okay. Oh, you surely left some clues behind somewhere. Uh, what are you? Clue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. Wow. I don't like that lobster smile. Yeah, he's he's a freak. There it is. Can I? Hmm, it's not letting me. Oh, there's more here. Can I do anything with this? Is there anything else I can hit? Maybe the floor? Oh, I knew it. There's foot tracks. Leading all the way over here. How convenient! 
I gotta figure out where he was going. Probably out the door, right? No, he was going to the lobster room. And then? Huh? It couldn't be. Dun dun dun. What'd you do, bud? What could Lobster Cop be hiding? Photocopy of Frog Detective's notebook. Oh my god, a picture of them together. I mean, they did say they were friends. A note. It reads... Hello, Lobster Cop. It is me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I've done what you asked. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct and that Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So I've taken the frog- I've taken the detective's notebook. Inside- inside are some great insights to how the detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. Dun dun dun! I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. The lobster evil! This can't be true! Lobster cop? The number one best detective of fraud? And you get the supervisor and head and head to Cowboy County. There's been a terrible misjustice. I mean, we knew, we knew the, the mole was evil, but I, I was pretty sure, I was like 50-50 on the cop. I knew that smile was wicked. Yeah, he's a freak. Now, I do know of one little secret to check out here, which we're going to do real quick. They really hammed up the mole stereotype. Yeah. Oh, I can't do it yet. Okay. We have to go into the saloon at some point. Something happening there. All right, let's talk to them. Howdy, folks. What brings you county Cowboy County so late? This is our turf, so you better have a good reason. We don't want any trouble. We're here about our good friend, the Frog Detective. Ah, uh, the duality of Frog. How can one be so kind, poetic, and thoughtful? Also being... How can one so kind, poetic, and thoughtful also be a stealer of all of our hats? A frog so pretty, so, so alluring, and yet... I really trusted Frog Detective, that snake. I can't go on a date with a criminal, it's just not me. Are you a bandit? Outlaw, so you live outside the law. Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't matter anyway, Frog Detective is innocent. <laughs> sure, we all saw the photo. Those furred brows told the whole story. Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, so those were stolen too. No, you're mistaken, Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's frog blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing? Regardless, you say it was a mistake. Not so much a mistake, a setup. I have reason to believe Sheriff, Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of our beloved frog detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I believe. I'm afraid. Let Rhonda throw hands at the cop. True! I hope we do. How can we help? If you could point us in the direction of where frog detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy, Sheriff Mason Mole has the detective locked up in bad room at the back of his sheriff's office. If you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We're outlaws. My bad. Alright. We still can't go in the saloon. Blogs are still a thing. You live as cowboy outlaws. Alright, we gotta be quiet. Looks like he's took it out after another day of being a mean, nasty liar. I won't wake him. Anything else to investigate? Before I release our boy. Alright. Mr. Monkey, Supervisor, what are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed to visitors in bad room or that anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out. What? Mr. Monkey has proof you were framed. This music is a jam. It's kind of nice. I knew it. Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, Detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? 
It's hard to know for sure until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious of who? You, detective! It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, it's late until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. Emergency meeting! Beep! Here we go. What is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I've called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case. But it's closed, I solved it! Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, Town, for meeting us here on short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to break bring down Frog Detective? Huh. What? I... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office. That's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the... Uh, I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. Uh, why are you going in without me? That's rude. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Sheriff Mason Mole has been ta tailing the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As a lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. <laughs> Clive is not real, what a quote. Wait, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos who runs the shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a, ma a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind the shop. I, I don't think that's true. I think he's crazy. What? I never... Oh, but you did. Ma Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. No, I... No, that's not... I... Ah... <sighs> This is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Frog Detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office, I felt threatened. You're so methodical in your case solving. I would read your blogs and go green with that envy. The single tear, yeah. <laughs> I've been number one detective for so long that I grew up complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and pass it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry, but Lobster Cop, your investigation, investigative abilities are far away of mine. Yo, Cozy, what's good? I'm almost done, but we're uh, we're just finishing up the last of this. Hope you're doing well, man. Hey, maybe a lobster, but I know crocodile tears when I see them. Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mole was there for me. Having friends is so important, but we were a bad influence on each other. I needed to work, and so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I help take you down. I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that I got to that point. Instead of asking for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How do you frame the detective? It was a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detectives to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once you had the resources to dig up the hats and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? I was eating a delicious meal, of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you. But, <laughs> just like I know a good Discord server when I see it, like Ari's. Thanks, Bishop. But what I don't understand is why you had to put me in bad room. Framing was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting somebody in a room, whether they had a naughty thing, they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really hate that room. Bad room is my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. Lobster Cop, Mason Mole, you have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to a bad room? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you have abused your power in ways that I can't begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. We deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. May do something that helps contribute to society. A cop no longer. Okay. I'll hand in my badge and gun. Gun? Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate, I gave Lobster Cop the gun. Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? P 
po lobster posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well then, it's settled. Lobster posty posted Macy Mail. Why? Do you have anything you to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great postie and right some of the wrongs I've done. This seems like a metaphor for jail and how does it contribute positively to society in the broad sense. I was about to say, it also feels like a metaphor for how the post office is a different government service that is more contributional than jail and the way it's set up. Uh, these satire games and like kind of like silly joke games always have like a deeper meaning and I love it. That's why I love these games. Detective acted, acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a posty and please rest assured and please rest assured you will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Say, now that that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Actually insane some of the topic topics they just covered. Yeah, really. Oh, Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the num new number one best detective, Mystery Monkey. Congratulations to... I knew it. I knew it. I called it. Mystery Monkey. Wow, congratulations, Mystery Monkey. What an achievement. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I'll have to shut down my research facility or something to be a detective full time. You can move into my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great! What an honor to work next door, next door to the number one mis best detective again. This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do. All in lobster posty, posty Mason Mail. Yeah? You're invited too. Look at how gracious Frog is. No jealousy. Yeah. Well, of course, yeah. how can he be jealous when he's standing in front of the number one best detective, you know? A game by Worm Club. Grace and Thomas popping off, making an incredible trilogy of games. This is nice. Frog Detective 3, Corruption at Cowboy County. They're really breaking it down. And that is the real credit sequence, but I'm sure there'll be more end credits because there always are. <laughs> Design the bad bits. Thomas Falker designed the good bits. That's messed up. We know who wrote the credits, it was Thomas. Frog Detective was invented by Grace Buxner. I made you and I can destroy you. God, that was that was an amazing game. Amazing trilogy of games. I mean, it's technically one game for me. It's just called the entire mystery, but Damn special thanks to a super hot team Who uh, I guess helped Mystery monkey <laughs> mystery monkeys hips do not lie <laughs> That was awesome. I'm gonna have to buy them at some point if you have game pass you can play there um, Or yeah, you can buy them Support the creators. Super good game. I'm glad when we find I'm glad when we find like little indies like this. Cause I think this is an indie game. <laughs> Even though the super hot team was like part of it in some way, I think overall it was an indie game. Because Worm Studios or the Worm Group, Worm Gang, I don't know them that well. I've never heard of them before. Oh, here's a picture. Heck yeah. We did it. Frog Detective, crime, crime solving agency. Frog Detective speaking. How many I solve your mystery? Hey, Frog Detective. Yes, Mystery Monkey. Happy birthday. Thanks so much. I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. But you're number one best detective. I know, but this one's a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. I think they probably gave funding slash help with publishing. Yeah. I do not have Game Pass. I do have Steam, Steam sales. Yeah, I get you. Hi. Hey, Detective. Well, 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 if it isn't Mystery Monkey 49 Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. What? Just a joke. Are there two other Frog Detectives? I don't know. I was just joking. You got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog Detective 1, Frog Detective 2, and now Frog Detective 3? <laughs> How do you think I feel with 48 other Mystery Monkeys? Hmm, that's a good point. 
Look at that, asking for help. Good job. Exactly. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Will do. Anything else that I can mess with here? You got a nice green telephone. Secrets. Oh, it's Mo. I'm glad that they hid that there. That's cute. Oh, and we can see all his mysteries that he's completed. Look at that. Oh, we finally found a ghost. Awesome. Oh, gosh, that scared me for a second. <laughs> Surprise! His face is just taped on those. No, 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 he found a ghost. No, no, no. You guys are wrong. Surprise! Wow, what's everyone doing here? Well, <laughs> if that scared you, we're going to have a great time in Phasma. Oh, God. And, and an amnesia. Oh, boy. Well, Detective, we all appreciate everything you've done. And then Subnautica. Fucking Subnautica. Those fools are not doctored at all. No. Dude, crime isn't real. Well, Detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful. All thanks to you. Same with my island. I haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically, you never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. It worked! That's not all, Detective. We got you a present. It should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on Wisp Day. Is it gonna be the- Oh, it's gonna be- Oh, oh. Oh, it's gonna be them. Okay, I thought it'd be the other mailman that we already met, but it's Lobster Posty. Special birthday delivery. Oh, wait, the, the guy on the right is the other mailman. Hell yeah. Is that for me? Open it up. It's gonna be a pipe bomb. Oh, it's a cowboy hat. <laughs> My bad. Happy birthday. Wait, what is this? That's easy, detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you just try it on? Yay, we figured out a hat that works. Well, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. We did it. The singular tear. Thank you for playing Frog Detective, and we have loved making these games for you. And we're so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. It was incredible. This was such a good game. What about two hats, one for each eye sockets? I think those are eye patches. Our latest Toast Science Discovery Jam. Discovery, Jam, Love, Mo, and Mystery Monkey. Collaborating on our latest potion, Lola and Mandy. This is so cute. We're celebrating Craig's acceptance to the Ghost Spotters League. Let's go, he got in. See you soon, love from Bonnie, Craig, and Susie. Finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. Tight, Tight Smiles 101 Tooth White and Cool Paste for Teeth, TM. XO Fresh X. Wool family reunion. So much wool was shed. Gross. From Noodle and Barney. Their family? Wow. Thanks for our date. I had so much fun. We went on a date with Sherman. Let's go. So handy having a muse right next door to the saloon. Regards, Pistol. Oh, he kept using her as his muse. I can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's very cool and secret. Eat after reading. Bernie. Aw. I'm the sheriff now. I didn't even have to beat anyone up from Rhonda. Let's go. Finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. Oh yeah, Carlos and Ralph are uh, like roommates. And they were roommates. We are not the same guy. Larry and Lobster Posty. Um, my first day of cowboy school. Ex Dusty. Dusty's finally learning to be a cowboy. Employee of the month at the post office. Hey, Mason Mole did, did something right. <laughs> they aren't the same, dang. I like how they had to clarify. Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. When regards Koala. He doesn't even have a name, it's just Koala. That's cute though. There's so many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue sea orbit. I wasn't paying attention the entire time. We performed together at the latest dance contest. We came third. Finley and Martin. Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later, Mary. Wow, she's famous. 
Oh. Oh boy. I broke my leg. Sent from my phone, naughty. Poor naughty. I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here. From Victor. I wouldn't either. Finally met my hero lobster... Finally met my hero lobster co I mean lobster posty. Much love, Susan. Wow, we did it! A beautiful, real end credit scene. Now, where's the after credits? Heck yeah. <laughs> the end. Question mark? Oh, I guess not. They always do question marks, but it's not there. Yay! Let's do it. Let's let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. We did it, boys. GG's. Uh, I'm looking at the achievements real quick. What have we got? We are missing four achievements. Okay, so I'll just do this on my own. But um, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. No detect, no Frog Detective 4, yeah, unfortunately. But it was a good game. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad we got to play. Um, much love. See you guys. If you guys haven't seen the other two VODs, they've already been posted, so go watch those. Frog Detective will return in Avengers Kang Dynasty. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say. Thank you for watching, YouTube. Take care. Goodbye.